Hello Year 8 and welcome to Rivers Lesson 4. So today we're going to look at the Upper Course River Landforms, which follows on from our previous three lessons. So, um, as you can see in the in the pictures on the screen already, we're going to look a little bit at waterfalls today, but we're also going to look at some other Upper Course Landforms as well. So, um, Upper Course Erosional Features. The features of an Upper Course are created through erosion. So remember, erosion is the breaking down of the riverbanks and the riverbeds and we've got four different types of erosion which we did in the previous lesson. So the features that this creates are V-shaped valleys, waterfalls and gorges and something called interlocking spurs. And you can see all three of those on the diagram on the right hand side. So we're going to focus today on what landforms and what features we find in that area that is circled. So the upper course, so just in the bit where the hills, the mountains are. So to start with, um, V-shaped valleys. So you can see two pictures of uh, V-shaped valleys there. So a V-shaped valley forms in the upper course because of something called vertical erosion. So high up in the hills and the mountains, when the water lands on the, on the slopes of the hills and the mountains, all that water wants to do is it wants to get as low as possible. So because it wants to get as low as possible, vertical erosion happens, which basically means the water will erode downwards instead of side to side. The valley sides are slowly broken down through weathering. So they start to get um, broken down because of the maybe more extreme weather, which they get high up in the mountains, like heavy rain and high winds. The weathered material is transported by a gravity and rainfall towards the river channel and this kind of steepens those valley sides, kind of makes them a little more steeper and a bit more exaggerated. And the steep sided and narrow valley shape that is created is typically of upland rivers. So you were kind of left with this V-shaped valley and this process happens over, you know, um, hundreds of years, it doesn't just happen um, over a few years. So that is the first feature there. So just to recap, might start like that, but then vertical erosion causes the water to, to go downwards. Because of weathering and other, other processes, the sides start to break down and fall in, and we're left with a nice V-shaped valley. So that's the first feature. It's the first feature we'll find high up uh, in a river valley. Second feature is something called interlocking spurs. Okay, so that sounds quite complicated, but they're not really that complicated at all. So the river is mainly focused on vertical erosion in the upper course. Therefore, it doesn't have the power to erode through the hard rock found in upland areas. This leaves areas of hard rock in the upper course called interlocking spurs. So these areas here, okay? So they will be areas of hard rock and the river has had to kind of wind in between them because it's not got the power to break through these areas of really hard rock. Right, the last one. Uh, waterfall. So what is a waterfall? It is a geological formation where flowing water rapidly drops in elevation as it flows over a steep region or cliff. So waterfalls are formed when we've got an area of hard rock on top of an area of softer rock. Because of this hard rock, the water cannot erode downwards like it wants to but eventually it will get to the end of the hard rock and it will be able to start eroding the soft rock below. This erosion here causes it to kind of go back and back and back and eventually the hard rock will also be eroded as well, as you can kind of see in this diagram here. Okay, it might not be as clear, but you can see that is the hard rock. That's the area of soft rock. When the water flows over the end of it, it starts to break down the soft rock underneath and then eventually the hard rock collapses into the river and then we're left with something called a gorge where the river will retreat backwards as it um, starts to erode more and more. So they are the three upper course features which I want you to, to learn about. There are four tasks for you to complete on Show My Homework. Please use this um, video to help you, pause it where you need to, and hopefully um, you'll be able to complete all the work that is there.